We are currently on the My Tests page. Here, you can see a list of assignments, including those already assigned and available for booking. You can take tests, preview reports, download achieved certificates, etc. Each tile provides detailed information about a specific test. Here, you can see the test's name and description. Here, you can see the test status. This indicates that the test is proctored meaning your test-taking process will be recorded and reviewed later. If the test is assigned only to the specific user group, here you can see the user group name. You can find the location name here if your test is scheduled at a specific location. You will see the date here if your test results have a specified validity period. After the validity period expires, your test attempt will be suspended. By default, test results have unlimited validity. You'll see the certificate's name here if a certificate is added to the test. If a limit on the number of candidates allowed to book the testing session has been defined, that number will be displayed here. Here you can also view the test's availability, including its start and end dates. If the test has already expired, here you can check the expiration date. If you have completed the test, you will also see the completion date and your achieved score. Click on the three dots to see more options. Here you can view predefined instructions that you can read before the test. Here you can see details of your previous attempts at this test if any. For a book test attempt, you can request special accommodation such as extra time or a one-on-one -on -one session. Once approved, you will be able to view your request here. Test statuses reflect their availability and can have different action buttons on the tile depending on their status. The following statuses are Available now pertains to tests currently available for taking, and you can click this button to start a test. If the test has multiple testing sessions with different dates, you can choose one of the offered sessions to start the test or book it for later. You can cancel your booking by clicking this button. If a test requires payment, you must first purchase it, and after that, you can take it. If a limited number of free reschedules has been defined, you can click this button to reschedule your test for another date. If all free reschedules have been used, then you must submit a request to reschedule the test. Click this button, enter the desired testing session name and reason for rescheduling. Upload any necessary files, such as a medical certificate, and then click Submit. Paused indicates tests you previously paused or terminated due to technical problems such as an unstable internet connection. You can resume them as long as the testing session is accessible by clicking this button. Completed, passed or failed indicates that you finished the tests. If the report is available, you can click this button to preview your report. When you finish a test and a report is available, you can download the report directly from this page by clicking on the three dots. You can export the personal report as an Excel file, PDF, or knowledge deficiency report. These export options are also available on the personal report page. If retakes are allowed, you can retake a test by clicking this button. If a retake requires payment, you must first purchase it. After that, you can retake the test. If the test manager has allowed you to edit your answers after completing the test, you can edit your answers by clicking this button. Not finished indicates cases where you voluntarily exited the test or were disconnected due to technical problems like an unstable internet connection. You can continue your test attempt by clicking on this button. Suspended refers to a test attempt that has been suspended by the test manager or one where the validity period has expired. Even though your attempt is suspended, your results are saved and can be accessed by opening the personal report. Upcoming refers to the test in the upcoming testing session, accessible from the specified start date and time. Expired pertains to tests within the testing session that are no longer accessible. You can no longer take the test unless other testing sessions are available. Booking expired indicates that the booking deadline has passed and you can no longer take this test unless the test manager assigns you to that specific session or another session within the test. Pending indicates a testing report that is incomplete and not accessible for you to review. Assignments can be filtered by status, reflecting their availability. 
The default filter shows all assignments, but you can choose between the following options. Available, completed, suspended, expired, upcoming, or pending report. You can also sort your assignments using the following criteria. Available first sorts tests by when they become available for taking. In this case, tests are sorted in alphabetical order. Numerical values precede alphabetical characters if the test names start with numbers. Z to A sorts the tests in reverse alphabetical order. Tests starting with numbers are listed last in this case. This option sorts tests by creation date, starting from the most recently created assignments. In this case, tests are sorted by creation date, starting from the oldest created assignments. This option sorts tests by session start time, starting from the oldest. And this one sorts tests by session start time, starting from the latest. Self-enrollment first option displays the tests available for booking, where you can enroll yourself, and then other tests. Numerical values precede alphabetical characters if the test names start with numbers. With certificates first, displays past tests with achieved certificates, and then other tests. Numerical values precede alphabetical characters if the test names start with numbers. If the workspace module is used, and some tests are divided into workspaces, you can filter your assignments by workspace. By default, tests from all workspaces are displayed. To locate a specific test, enter a keyword from its name using the search bar, and the desired test will appear. To remove applied filters, click this button. Here, you can perform an equipment check before starting the proctored test to ensure your equipment is ready. You can watch a video to guide you through the equipment check process. Navigate to the next or previous pages and adjust the expansion of tile rows here. For additional information, please refer to the help section or watch instructional videos in the application's top right corner.